Hello there, this is Yikao Joy again on Guide Talk. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time of subscribing or you are a new subscriber, welcome, thumbs up to you. All right, today I just want to encourage you, everybody, if you are watching this and you've not yet subscribed, please make sure you subscribe, smash the notification bell so that you can be notified when I come up with a new video. Like this video, comment on this video. Let's get into this subject matter. Help, I am married to a choleric. So you are a guy and your spouse is a choleric. Who is a choleric in personality and temperament? There are four types of personalities that exist amongst the human race. And uh, one of them is the choleric. The choleric is an extrovert. An extrovert is somebody who is very outgoing. But um, different from the sanguine, the choleric is, is, involved, is involved in being a very powerful individual. Cholerics can be very active. They're always on the go. They like doing, doing, working, working, working. So you may, your wife may be a, a kind of workaholic kind of person. Or the, the, the choleric also can be very positive and optimistic all of the time. Also, the choleric is very impulsive. They just want to do some things and uh, without too much preparation, they want to jump in and get, get going. Also, uh, the choleric can be very excitable and they're very, they, they can change. They're always aggressive. Maybe this is one of the, 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 the ways you know a choleric spouse. She can be very aggressive and can be very touchy, can get easily angry and can be yeah, restless. Uh, but they also like to get results. They can want to have big uh, goals and they want to achieve a lot. Now, if you are married to a choleric wife, you need to understand that um, when it comes to the issue of submission, they may have uh, initially some challenges with that. So you just got to also raise your bar very high. If you are a low achiever, they are not going to really respect you so much because cholerics themselves are very driven to achieve a lot in life. So you must make up your mind to be very hardworking yourself. That's the only way you can uh, uh, impress a choleric. You got to be a high achiever you've got to be high uh, be hard working industrious you've got to have plans and you've got to have um, where you are going you should be clear in where you are taking the family to the relationship to and now these are skills that you have to learn so that you can step up to the position of leadership or else your cleric spouse is going to take the leadership automatically and it's not because they are bad or they 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 or they, they, they are evil but because that's what they are naturally wired to do so if you're married to a choleric uh, spouse you have to be patient with them sometimes and uh, and um, when they get hungry you got to help them to understand that hey look this is this is how you handle this this is how you handle anger anger management when you are touchy this is what you must do you can just keep on being touchy fretful and resentful you got to learn to manage these emotions emotional intelligence is a big word uh a big phrase now so they, you got to learn to mention that to them and also display it yourself and uh, but more than anything else you've got to develop your leadership um, acumen, your leadership IQ, your leadership ability, and you've got to have clear-cut goals, and then you've got to be a man of action yourself. You cannot just be laid back and be lazy and think that you are going to have it good with your choleric wife. So these are the things you must keep in mind. Also, you must be active. You can't just be a person that thinks and thinks and plans and plans all the time. Too much analysis leads to paralysis. You got to keep that in mind. So when you have plans, for instance, you have plans for the year, you have plans for the quarter, you have plans uh, for 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 the week. Then share with her and then get moving. Then she's excited. She's going to be in her element, and then you can achieve. Now, when you blend very well. You see, you find out that your family can achieve a lot, uh, a lot of things because of that choleric element in the matter. So, also, you got to be very patient. You, you cannot just respond um, in the same level when she, if she's touchy at a, at a moment when she's 
um, feeling like being aggressive, you've got to calm down yourself and stabilize the old situation. And after a while, she's going to learn from you and understand that there are other ways of getting things done apart from just uh, trying to steamroll your way um, through. So remember this also. You don't if you are if the situation is very um, uh, very. Um, touchy. The old situation you are in is very touchy at a point and the discussion is very um, not easy coming forth. You don't, you don't have to um, respond with anger if you attempted to bust out yourself. You learn to calm yourself down. You are the leader of the family and show uh, self-control and then she's going to pick it up and learn to work with it. Well, uh, this is what I have to say if you are married to a choleric. What do you want to say? Write that in the comment section. Remember also, if you've not yet subscribed, subscribe to this channel. If uh, And if you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can get my next video when it comes up. Also, like this video, share this video. Well, until the next time when I come, I want you to know that relationships can work and yours will work too. Bye for now.